Hey guys, I'm Vapen Donkey, and today we'll be doing a quick review on the Evil Eye RTI from EX Pro. Now, the Evil Eye RTI is another rebuildable um, atomizer from EX Pro. This one's a little different. Uh, in the box, you get your usual. Yeah, nice little bag of treats, extra O rings, some screws, all that good stuff. Uh, you get an extra tank section in there, and you get your drip tip. Sorry, there's a little bit of lip gunk in that, I have been using it. <laughs> and you also get Star of the Show, it's a beast, but it is. The Evil Eye RTA. Uh, there's some just in there because I have been using it. Uh, there's it all assembled. And get rid of this. This was sent to me <coughs> free for review from EVS, European Vaping Supplies. Uh, kind guys over there sent this over. You can check them out at www. Vapor, v a p o u r and e sig dot co dot uk. I'll put it up right now across here. Wing, <laughs> wing. <laughs> Not sure what that noise was, but uh, yeah, go check them out. They've got some great deals uh, with a wide variety of stuff available. Uh, it's all excellent stuff as well. You know, there's no skimping around there. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's go on. Today we'll have this on top of this to get a 100 watt plus, just because it's a workhorse. But yeah, as you can see, there's a slight overhang on the Sigeli. It's a 30 millimeter atomizer as opposed to a 22 mil, um, which is what the norm is these days. But uh, it's designed for a 26 650 tube mod, I think. That's what it would look best on my eyes anyway. I suppose you can put it on anything you want, you know. Um, let's try and get this deck open. Oh, might have to take it off this first. Yeah, there we go. So this just comes apart as usual. You know, we have our deck and our chimney section, our glass and our top section, uh, as per usual. Put these on one side at the minute. Put this on here. Sorry, it's a little juicy, guys, but as I say, I have been using this, I have been enjoying it. Spoiler alert. We'll take this chimney off to reveal our build section. As you can see, I do have a build in there and it's been working well, so I'm just going to keep it in. But it is a four post, four post build section um, which a lot of these RTAs are becoming these days and I love it, I absolutely love it it's got really big uh, wicking holes in there for your wicks um, slightly smaller air holes coming up under the coils here uh, but we'll get into that in a minute so first of all let's just put a little bit of wick in here shall we Right here I've got some Japanese cotton. Um, just good old Japanese cotton, no brand name or anything. <laughs> to cut two strips of this. Ball it up. Strip number one, three. Make sure it's nice and snug. Spin it round. Strip number two, three. Now, this build deck, because there is so much room, it's quite forgiving. A lot more forgiving than 
some of the newer ones. So if you just cut this kind of up to the build deck, up to the, the, the threads of it, on all sides, yeah. Get it a little juicy, I'm going to use some secret juice I've been working on. Get it nice and juicy, give it a wee fire, mm, working beautifully. Get these ends all nice and juicy. Thing of beauty, that's what that is, a thing of beauty. Mm -hmm. uh, just use this and get that cotton down so it's kissing the juice channels not stuffed into the juice channels, a lot of people make that mistake with these RTAs of stuffing cotton into those juice channels and that's just no good for anybody that I mean it's gonna restrict your airflow a bit, it's gonna block off just coming up I mean just kiss it, just slightly, lightly touch it and that's your best bet. So, let's get a chimney back on. There we go. Our whopper of a glass section back on. Oh! <laughs> And that just shows you how resilient that is. I could have, that should have smashed, but it's not at all. Back on, I'm not being as clumsy this time. Top section, just screws on. Look at that for threading. Ah, thing of beauty. Back on, and that's you. So now all you've got to do is fill it and vape it. Now fortunately, there's two things that I don't like about this. And one of them, let me give us a wee clean. One of them is here, bottom fill. Just gets on my nerves. Just absolutely pains me, bottom fill. Why, why did it have to be bottom fill? And secondly, see these? These are your airflow here and here and here is a screw or what should be a screw and then here should be a screw that you tighten for your airflow. Now I like quite a wide, very wide airflow so I've just taken them out and they're in the box over here, you can hear them, they're in there but I'm not going to use them ever again so I just took them out. Why it couldn't have just been an airflow ring, I don't know, it's beyond me. I mean, it wouldn't have upset the aesthetics of it, it wouldn't have upset the functionality. I mean, yeah, you should have just put a bot uh, an airflow ring on it. And as for this crap uh, bottom fill, um, yeah, you've lost major points for it there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to fill this up off camera, give it a vape, and give you my honest opinion on it. So, the Evil Eye RTA by EX Pro. What do I think? Well, I like this and I don't like it, okay? Um, I don't mind the size. Uh, quite like the draw. If you like, it is a tighter draw. Um, it's tighter than the Lemo 2, you know, not as tight as a K fan. Build deck is great, massive size. Wiccan is very easily, um, wicks well. This is very high P or VG juice in here and it's caught up every time, you know. Mmm, yeah, I mean the flavour is fantastic. For a big RTA, you know, it's still quite stubby in the chimney so the vapour's getting quite directly into your mouth. Um, I love, I love that it comes with a nice drip tip. I love the presentation box. It's great. Um, what I don't like that fill, that bottom fill. It is such a pain in the arse. It's unbelievable. Uh, it would nearly put me off buying it. 
I say nearly. It's a great all day tank. You know, it holds a shitload of juice. It vapes well, it tastes great. Uh, really easy to build on, aesthetically pleasing to the eye. There's not that much overhang on a Segelli 150, you know. Uh, heavy though, very heavy. But that's what you get whenever it's, you know, it's so well built. Like it's um, stainless steel is great, you know. So my overall impressions, yeah, I mean I really like it apart from that bottom fill. Uh, airflow's grand. Uh, a bit tighter as I say, but some people enjoy that. Um, yeah, I'm going to have an RV. I've been vaping Dunkey, this is the Evil Eye RTA by EX Pro. I'll put it in again here, uh, where you can buy it. And yeah, thanks. See you again. Bye.